Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Board. Today we're taking a look at a really fun core, and that is the Capcom Play System. Interestingly enough, though, this is not one single core, but it's a core for each individual game, but Jotago has done an excellent job of bringing us the Capcom Play System to the Mr. Before we get too far in love, do me a huge favor down below and hit like and subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined, you want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down there as well. But getting the Capcom Play System core on the Mister is absolutely outstanding because these are some of the best arcade games ever made and the original Capcom Play System hardware is notoriously unreliable and it definitely is prone to failure. But taking a look, just a little bit of a setup guide, the options we have, we've got a lot of different video options and I noticed that on my system, leaving them exactly as is is what I want to do. But what you really need to work at is switching the dip switches because most, if not all, of the Capcom Play System games do not allow you to continue unless you switch a dip. So you want to go up to continue and select yes. Otherwise, when you lose, you're going to be right back at the beginning. But otherwise, I find that this core is very well set up off the top. You can change the video settings to your liking, but I find that everything looks and plays exactly how I'd expect it if you just leave all the settings other than the continue option on. And you'll need the dip switch to change all the difficulty levels to go to free player to coin up. Unlike a lot of the other console cores, because these are arcade boards, you do want to deal with those dip switches. But everything you're getting on this core is absolutely outstanding. Taking a look at Final Fight, it plays exactly how I remember it. And there's so many great beat-em-ups on this board. We move over to the next game, and it's just hit after hit. The games that aren't great for the Capcom Play system are still really good, but the games that are amazing for it are some of the all-time classic arcade games. Knights of the Round is absolutely outstanding, definitely worth checking out, and if you've never played it, you absolutely should. And that's what the great thing about the Mister is, is that all of a sudden, in one small device, you're going to be able to play every Capcom Play system game ever made, and it's working near perfectly. There are ever so once in a while graphical glitches. They are tiny and they impact nothing. These cores are probably 99% accurate. I know he continues to work on improving them, but it's not going to be anything you notice. The visual quality is outstanding here on Captain Commando, and you definitely should only be playing as Mummy Commando because why would you pick anybody else? The sound is great. The music is great. All the effects are good. There is very little of any perceivable lag, and something like Mercs here, it's just an amazing game and probably one that you've never checked out if you haven't, you know, gone to an arcade and played these, or if you have actually collected a board. That's what I love about Mister is that suddenly a lot of these esoteric games are at your fingertips and you're able to play them. And of course, too, you're going to get three of what people think are the best fighting games of all time on the Mister Core, all three versions of Street Fighter 2. I'm not a huge Street Fighter fan, but for people to be able to play the arcade originals in near perfect quality is absolutely something that we should be celebrating. And like I said, it's exactly what you remember. If you grew up in arcades in the 90s and you played these games, this is like having an arcade board hooked up to a super gun in your house or owning an arcade cabinet. I collect for the Capcom Play System too, and I will be doing a direct core comparison to original hardware for that. Once the cores are out of beta, because it doesn't feel fair right now to review something that hasn't been released to the public specifically. But I don't collect this hardware so much. I've got a few Capcom Play System boards, and honestly, they are tricky. One is currently non-functional and does need a little bit of repair. So I absolutely love this core for what it's doing, because it's bringing you rare, difficult to work on hardware into your living room and you're able to play all these classic arcade games. And like I said, the sound is just near perfect. And honestly, the sound on Capcom Play System and CPS2 games has always sounded a little bit muffled to me, even on original hardware. And it sounds the same here, which is to say it's doing a really good job of emulating it. So go ahead and listen for 30-45 seconds and I'll come back and tell you more of the great games you can play on this core and why this core is one of the outstanding cores you 100% should check out. But I will be right back.
So yeah, the core is doing an excellent job of getting the audio right, because I will say sometimes on software emulation, I've noticed that the sound for the Capcom Play system and even the CPS2 can get a little bit wonky, but here it sounds exactly like original hardware to my ear. Now, of course, audio quality is very subjective, and like I said earlier, I've always thought that the Capcom arcade boards, the Capcom Play system and CPS2 didn't have the greatest audio ever, and this core sounds exactly like the arcade hardware does, so it's basically perfectly emulating all of that kind of muffled nature in the soundtrack but there's so many great shmups on this system we got un squadron we got varth we got carrier air wing and if you're into something like a shmup where you have eight way direction of your shot something like forgotten worlds not my favorite game but still an awesome time and I just love how accurate the colors are as well. I mean, obviously, I'm not comparing this to original hardware. This is just a core review, not a comparison. But everything looks incredible. All the scrolling is exactly how you would expect it to be. All of the colors are what I would expect to see when I'm playing a Capcom Play System game. It is just awesome. The one core that I would say does a couple funny things is Strider. But the original game did some funny things, too. I can't tell what is a core bug and what is actually just a bug in the original hardware because Strider was always a little bit feeling like it was held together at the seams with duct tape. But any of these bugs you encounter have absolutely nothing to do with the playability of the game. It plays good, it sounds good, it looks good. Just every once in a while you'll see above Strider there's a one or two pixel black bar that pops up above his sprite that I do not recall being in original hardware. But it has nothing to do with the playability of the game. And you have the games like Willow as well. I particularly hate this one, but I know some people really like it. To me, it's just one of the cheapest games on the system. But it plays exactly how you would expect it to if you're on original hardware. And huge thanks to Jotago. He makes amazing cores and he's releasing Capcom Play System 2 cores as we speak. I've been playing a lot of the betas of those. And once those are all released to the public, I will do a core review in comparison against my original Capcom Play System 2 hardware. Because there's as many if not more games on that platform that are amazing as there are on this original Capcom Play System platform. And right here, Nemo, also really good game. And that's why this core is just so incredible because the Capcom Play System had a ton of different diverse games on it. You had shmups, you had beat-em-ups, you had action platformers, you had fighting games, you had really good puzzle games. There's so much here to play, and if you want to get all of these games, and I haven't published the video yet, I will soon, but use the Update All script. That'll bring down all the Jotaco cores, and it'll also deal with a lot of the ROM downloading and BIOS files for you. It's the easiest way to pull these over, but I will leave a link to Jotaco's GitHub page as well as his Patreon, because if you're not a supporter, you should think about doing it, because you do get beta access to the cores, and he's done so much for Mr. You definitely should support him if you're into the Mr. Project in general. And then even things like this. There's really fun puzzle games like Three Wonders here. Two of the three games I don't love, but Don't Pull is an amazing game. It's outstanding. It's everything you'd want in an arcade puzzle game. And this is what I remember arcade games being in the early 90s when I was you now 8, 9, 10 years old. These are the games that I was super interested in in arcades. And a lot of these games have never been released outside of the actual platform as far as the arcade board is concerned. And some of the games I featured on my unported play list series but to be able to have all these amazing games at the push of a button on the mister emulating near perfectly is an outstanding achievement so if you've never played these games before 100% you want to check them out if you haven't played them in years go back to them if you own a mister this is 100% required playing for you guys to check out and the nice thing is too I was gonna do a separate video but I decided not to the Capcom system dash is also included all that is is the Capcom play system with the Q sound chip and a couple other hardware revisions but those cores are available to you as well so it's an outstanding bonus and of course you get to play ghosts and goblins or ghouls and ghosts i can never remember which one is which even if i'm just playing it right now one of my favorite games of all time and you're playing it in its arcade perfect original versus any sort of ports but yeah if you're wondering if the capcom play system cores for mr from jotago are good they are absolutely outstanding this is one of the most fun things to have on the platform and i'm so happy we have it but let me know in the comments below, have you played these before? Do you enjoy these games? Do you collect original Capcom arcade hardware? But I will be back next week with another Mr. Video, and I will have videos throughout the week as well. But I will say this is the best way to play this game, because not only is it arcade perfect, it is much, much cheaper, of course, than an arcade board. And you definitely don't want to be putting quarters into this game, because it takes so many lives unless you get good to be able to beat this game. Short of that, thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video, and there's tons of more Mr. Stuff coming up. They're always releasing new cores for the platform, so I will be reviewing them. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.